I love a good power solution for RVing. Whether it's a generator, inverter, solar, I love a good quality power solution. This inverter might be the best inverter for RVers. You might be thinking, that looks like the one you have already on your RV, but it's not. This one's different. And we're gonna find out exactly who this inverter is for. We're gonna look at the pros and the cons because it's really important to look at both sides of it. And we're gonna see, is this the best inverter for RVers at this time? Let's get started. So to start off, this inverter is the MultiPlus 2 24 volt version of the 2X120. We'll unpack all that that means, but the, the 2X120 has become really popular for our viewers because it is so versatile. And so having the combination of those 24 volt version and the 2X120 is really what makes this kind of stand apart. I was a huge fan when they came out with the 2X120 version of the MultiPlus because we don't have to do a workaround anymore. So much of the flexibility that we need to have as our veers is now handled inside of the inverter. We've covered that before. So it doesn't matter if I'm going out boondocking or if we're going to somebody's house on 15 or 20 amp, or we go to a park and they say they only have 30 amp, or we go somewhere with 50 amp, all those scenarios are perfectly fine with me and this can help pick up the slack on those lower end or off grid situations to where I'm not really sacrificing on the power end of things. Now, I just kind of glossed over that, but that's actually a, a really big deal. There's only a couple of inverters out there that can handle this type of situation well, and, and this is one of them. One that can take a 30 or a 20 amp situation and be able to do the internal switching necessary for that or be able to connect up to a two pole 50 amp, a split phase system. I've covered this in our RV electrical video, so I'm not gonna repeat all that here, but that's a big deal that it can do that from the 120 to the 240, from the 30 to the 50. It's able to synchronize the power coming in to the RV and then boost from that. So it's not just choosing, I'm going to use the inverter or I'm gonna use the grid. I get to use both together. That, that's that's pretty impressive. But let's go back because I wanna show you the advantage that the other one has over our 12 volt version. Now, moving over to 24 volts from 12 volts, we double our voltage, 12 to 24. That means that our amperage is gonna be cut in half, which in and of itself is uh, an advantage, but it's gonna give us a, an additional advantage in the future. So I can set this up so that we can test how many amps are gonna be going through this cable. So you can see at just around 1100 watts, we have about uh, 53, 54 amps going through this. Let's crank it up just a little bit more. So we have it cranked up to 2200 watts, and so we have 107 amps going from the batteries to the inverter. Let's see if we can get that same load on a 12 volt system and see what the, the amps are. So similarly, just under 2200 watts, and we're pulling around 220 amps for this inverter on the 12 volt side. That is a huge deal. Big difference going from 107 amps on the 24 volt version to 220 amps on the 12 volt version. That is a lot more heat, a lot more amps going through those, those lines. And so that's one of the benefits that uh, we have with the 24 volt version. You don't have to use as large as wire, large as cable as you need on the 12 volt system. This is what we used on the 24 volt system. And you can kind of future proof your system by not needing so many amps to go through the wires. And, and you can see that on the plan. I always recommend having a plan, especially if you have to or want to do it in phases, because more times than not, if you don't plan it out, you're gonna end up wasting money on equipment that you don't end up using in the end. I do wanna keep these available for free. We do have some key things that we wanna unpack in this diagram, but I wanna thank today's sponsor. It's not Victron, so I can keep this impartial. It's RV Mattress. Your mattress on your bed is a place that you want maximum comfort. A lot of mattresses that come in RVs, they're really not good. I would call them a Serta mattress, a certifiably terrible mattress. And if you think that joke is bad, it's not as bad as the mattress that come in some of these RVs. But you can choose a better mattress. So at RV Mattress by Brooklyn Bedding, they have four lines of mattresses and you can dial it into the exact size and the space requirements, the firmness, the softness, whatever you would like that fits your personal style for what you want in a mattress, you can find in there with lots of options. That's one of the things that impressed me when looking at a mattress. It's not just a one size fits all. You can dial it in and look at exactly what you need for your space and for your comfort. You can have it delivered right to your site. It comes compressed so it's easy to move into the RV, unroll it, take the plastic off, and almost see it come to life and take shape. 
I love that they're made in Arizona. They have a 120 night sleep trial. They have a 10 year warranty, free shipping, factory direct quality and pricing. So if you want to save 25% on a mattress of your choosing, put in the code all about RVs and save 25% at RV mattress by Brooklyn bedding. Thank you RV mattress for sponsoring this video, helping me keep the resources and the diagrams free in this video for people that need and want to use them. Also, along with the downloadable diagram on the website, there'll be links to all the equipment that's here. It'll be down in the description too of this video, but it's just easier on the website to be able to have the diagram and all the equipment laid out a little bit easier to be able to go through. Now we already looked that the 24 volt has fewer amps going through the wire compared to the 12 volt system. And that's where I think this has a, a big advantage over our 12 volt system for expandability. Yes, the lower amps is nice, but expandability is gonna be even easier on this. Yes, we can expand our 12 volt system, add a second inverter, but then you're gonna to have to double up on this larger wire because you can't usually get larger wire than this. And so more fuses, more wire, it, it just gets all a little bit more cumbersome. And on the 24 volt system, it's much easier to do. So I just replaced just a couple of these wires that's sized for a single inverter for a 24 volt system. And I just swap it out for this. So coming off the battery bank and making up the battery bank, I would use this four out wire and then go to two inverters. So if you're on the fence and you're you're thinking, I would like a 3000 watt inverter and you go with this one, but you're kind of thinking in the back of your mind, I might want to run two ACs off my system. I might want it to go bigger as I get into it. Well, if you go with the 24 volt version, that just becomes so much more easy. Here's the simple way that I look at it. When I'm designing a system, if I'm gonna be 3000 watts or less, 12 volts is gonna be fine. If I need to be above that, but below 6,000 watts, 24 volts is gonna sit in there really nice. And if I need to go above that 6,000 watts, I'm gonna start looking at 48 volts. Another advantage when you go up in voltage is your solar charge controller is gonna give you a lot more. It's gonna give you more bang for the buck. So on our RV, we have a 50 amp solar charge controller. So on a 12 volt system, I'm gonna be maxing out at around 600 watts. On a 24 volt system, I'm now gonna be able to get 1200 watts out of that. I, I can get double the amount out of that solar charge controller. Yes, I would need the, the panels to back up the other end of that, but rather than needing two solar charge controllers on our RV, I could have gotten away with just the one for the solar panels that we have on the roof. That is a big advantage. Now there are other things to note on a 24 volt system. Now that brings us to the battery bank. These are the Enduro Power 24 volt batteries. They, they make other batteries, they make 12 volt batteries, but I would highly recommend if you're going with a 24 volt system is to get a 24 volt battery. Yes, you can series connect a lot of 12 volt batteries that are out there and make a 24 volt system, but it's actually better to get a 24 volt battery and put them all in parallel and use them that way. A lot of the batteries that are out there, if you put them in series, there's a side note in there that you should take them apart once a year to be able to balance them or have a battery balancer on them so that they stay balanced. I don't wanna have to disassemble the system. Doing it this way, is just, it's just a better option to get the voltage of battery that you're gonna have in your system. So this is four 24 volt, 100 amp hour batteries, which doesn't sound huge. So I know we're all used to the 12 volt, 100 amp hour batteries. So this would be like eight of those. So it's a really good sized battery bank. And this is sized to actually have another inverter. So that video is gonna be coming in the future. That will show you the expandability of this system. So just a couple of things about these batteries is it's the lowest priced American company battery that I've been able to to find out there. So good service, good warranty. They make a really compact battery that's well built. So I was excited when it was on RV Solar Connections. Yes, you can order a lot of this equipment off of Amazon, but you're not gonna have service to call. So if you have an issue with your inverter or with a solar charge controller, you don't get to just call up Amazon and, and be able to work through that. You have to have a representative for that. Going through RV Solar Connections, you're getting more than a good price. You're actually getting some service to be able to back that end up of your inverter and complete setup. So having that all in one place with the batteries, the solar charge controllers, all that is fantastic. I do have a code with RV Solar Connections. It does give you a little bit of a benefit when you punch in that code. On my last build, I had a lot of questions about the backplate for the links, the disconnect, and the smart shunt. That backplate morphed into a spacer system. The spacer system is kind of cool because it's like a, a rubbery type of material. It gives it a little bit of a shock absorbent, I would imagine. Instead of having an entire backplate, we can place these spacers on the back. They, they stay on pretty snug 
and then all this stays nice and compact. But you'll see that in the full install video where I go through and show you exactly how all this connects together. But the one thing that we haven't talked about yet is getting it from the 24 volt to the 12 volts so that your, your lights and everything else is gonna work on your RV. And that's where we have this device. It's the Orion over there. It takes the 24 volt and puts it over to the 12 volt. It's a DC converter. So this will do 70 amps. So some people will like to add a battery on the other side of that. If you did a battery that had Bluetooth and you wouldn't need another battery monitor there and you can monitor what the capacity is of that battery. But that system is gonna take that DC 24 volt and supply the 12 volt to the rest of the RV. So the, the places that we saved being able to use smaller wire, having fuses that aren't quite as big, not having to spend as much on a solar charge controller kind of gets offset because we have to convert the 24 to the 12 volt. That's really the only negative and it's not really a negative, it's just one extra piece of equipment that you need in the system to work inside of an RV. Now, I'm not saying that this is the best inverter for every situation and for everybody out there, but looking at the inverters that are out there, this has to land in my top two for best inverters for RVers. With the 24 volt version being less amps, using smaller wires, smaller fuses, easier to expand, more out of your solar charge controller, and Victron being a high quality, extremely efficient inverter with countless ways to be able to customize it and remotely set it up with smart features on your RV, with the cherry on top being the power assist feature for RVers, the 15, 20, 30 amp, 50 amp scenario. It doesn't matter what we've been able to plug into. We've been able to run the AC inside the RV, use the shore power that's coming in and power assist to where Wherever we need. I think it makes it the most flexible, usable inverter for RVers at, at this time. If you enjoyed the overview of the system before we get into the nitty gritty details of the step-by-step -step process of installing this, then you might also be interested in our 12 volt setup on our RV and how it's been holding up over the years and how the batteries have been doing. You might wanna check that out. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. So as always, if we don't see you on the road, hopefully we will see you next video. Take care.